Good afternoon. In today's class, we are going to see the program for converting infix expression into postfix. So first, we are going to include the necessary header files. I'm including stdio.h and then ctype.h. Then I'm going to declare a stack with maximum size. Here, I'm assuming that my expression can contain up to 50 characters in maximum. So I'm defining the size for this. After that, in the global area, I'm declaring the stack. So in the stack, I'm going to store the characters. So I'm declaring a character array with sizes 50. Then I am declaring a pointer for indicating the top of the stack. And I'm initializing the pointer with minus one because initially the stack is empty. So in the array, uh, when top is equal to zero, it is going to tell that there is one eleven percent Since we have the empty stack, first I'm initializing top is equal to minus one. Then I'm converting, I'm writing functions for performing push and pop operations in the stack. So in case of push, you are going to insert one character. So you are going to pass an argument as a character. Then first you are going to in increment top by one. After that, in stack of top, you have to add the value X. So in case of push, there is no written value. So the return type is void. Then uh, in case of pop function, Whatever is present on the top of the stack, that character will be returned. So first, we are declaring a character variable x, which is going to store the character which is available on the top of the stack. Then whatever is available in stack of top, that is now stored in x. After that, decrement the top by one. Then finally, you return the character which is available on the top of the stack. So that is already stored in x. So that we are going to return to the user. Now. Let us see the main function, then we can come to the priority. So first in the main function, I am declaring uh, two character arrays, one for storing the input infix expression and the other for storing the output postfix expression. Then from the user, I'm going to get the infix expression. I am reading with the help of the scanf statement. Since it is given as a string, I am using the percentage modifier as percentage s. Then I'm reading the input and storing it in the infix expression. First, I'm going to push a special character to determine, to indicate that the end of the expression is reached when I'm popping the data from the stack. So I am pushing hash character onto the stack. Now, my aim is I have to read the characters one by one from the infix expression, then I have to do some conversion. So in the process, I have to do for all the characters in the infix expression. So I am checking. First, I am getting the I the character in the infix expression. So initially I have to start with the first character. So for that, I am declaring i is equal to zero in line number 68. First, I am getting the ith character from the infix expression, that is infix of i, then I'm storing it in the variable ch. So here ch is declared as a character variable. And if the i the character is not as equal to null, it means that end of the input is not reached. So we have to do some processing. So this is the condition in the while uh, statement. So now what are the things we have to do is, if the current character scan from the expression is equal to open parenthesis, then we have to push it onto the stack. So I'm calling the function push by passing ch as the argument. Else, it is not an open parenthesis. So we have to check whether it is alphabet and number. Our expression can contain alphabet like ABCD as a variable, or it can contain numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 as a constant. So in both the cases, we have to uh, consider that they are part of our postfix expression. So I am checking whether the particular character scanned from the input expression is an alphabet and then number. So I'm calling the function is al num. So this will check whether it is alphabet and numeric. So if it is either alphabet or numeric, it will return true or otherwise this function will return false. So this function is declared in the header file ctype.h. So whenever you want to include that function, we have to include the header file ctype.h. Now, so if my character is either an alphabet or a number, I should not push it onto the stack because only operators will be pushed onto the stack. So I have to append this character to the postfix expression. So for storing the postfix expression, I have a character array postfix. In that, first I'm going to append this current character in the index zero because this is the first character. So for that, I have initialized k is equal to zero. So you append the character ch in the postfix expression 
After that, you have to increment k by one so that it will point to the next position where you can insert the next character. Else, when you come to the next else if in line number 78, it means that the character is not open parenthesis and it is not alphabet, not numeric. So we have to check whether it is closed parenthesis. So else if the character ch is equal to closed parenthesis, then what we have to do is we have to pop all the characters from this track one by one until we encounter one open parenthesis. So I am checking whether the character on the top of the track is equal to open parenthesis. If so, I have to stop. If not, I have to pop till I get the open parenthesis. So while character on the top of the track is not as equal to open parenthesis, I am popping the character. When I pop the character, what I'm popping is an operator. That operator, I have to append it to the postfix expression. So I'm writing this character in the postfix expression at the index k. So postfix of k, after that I have to increment k. So I am writing postfix of k plus plus is equal to pop. And when this while loop is over, when you come outside the while loop, on the top of the stack, open parenthesis will be encountered. So you have to simply pop the open parenthesis, but you should not append it to the postfix expression. So I am simply popping it. I am not appending in the postfix expression. I am simply storing it in a variable called element, some variable, but we are not going to consider this. Else, else, when the control comes to the else part in line number 84, it means that our scan character is not open parenthesis, not closed parenthesis, not an alphabet, and not a number. That means it is an operator. So when we have an operator, we have to compare the priority of the operator. So for comparing the priority of the operator, we are going to check for some conversion. So uh, here we have to compare the precedent as associativity. So we are going to consider only the binary arithmetic operators. So we will consider the exponentiation operator, then um, multiplication, division, and percentage. Here we are not going to consider percentage. Only we will consider multiplication and division then addition and subtraction. So out of these three, according to precedence, exponentiation is having the highest precedence, then multiplication and division, next highest, and then plus and minus. And when we have an expression containing all these operators, sometimes we may have more than one operator from the same precedence level. So in that case, we have to consider the associativity of the operators. Exponentiation is having the associativity as right to left, and multiplication and division has left to right, and then plus and minus has left to right. So when we evaluate these expressions, we will get some operator in the input, and some operator will be available on the stack. So we have to compare the priority. So in that case, when you go for right associative, that is right to left associativity, the stack operator, the operator on the top of the stack is having lower precedence than the operator in the current input. If the associativity is left to right, the operator on the top of the stack is having higher precedence than the operator in the input. So we have to follow this in our program also. Now I'm going to assign priority according to this particular table. So first let us consider the operators. First, the priority of uh, plus and minus are the lowest one then multiply and divide, and then highest priority is exponentiation. And when we consider here, if we consider left to right associative, stack precedence is more than the input precedence. So here I have a table, the operators are given in one column, PRI stands for input precedence, PRS stands for stack precedence. So when we have plus and minus, stack precedence is more than input precedence. So for the operator in the stack PRS, I am giving number two, and if it is in the input, I am giving number one. That is, stack precedence two is greater than one. And if it is multiply and divide, again, associativity is left to right, so stack precedence is greater than input precedence. So for stack, I am giving four, and for input, I am giving three. And then I have exponentiation. Here, associativity is right to left. So in this stack precedence is less than input precedence. So for stack, I'm giving five and for input, I'm giving six. Now, if you see these numbers, 
out of these numbers, plus and minus are having the lowest value. Then comes multiply and divide, and then exponentiation. So this table is very important. With this table only, we are. So now we have seen the functions for uh, calculating the priority of the input and then priority of the stack. Now let us write the functions for them. So first I have to write two functions. One is PRI, it stands for priority of the input symbol. So for this function, I'm going to pass the current character scanned. Uh, actually here, uh, this is the character from the input. I'm going to pass the character as the argument to this function. If the current character scanned is equal to exponentiation, it is going to return me six. Else, if the current character scanned is either multiply or divide, it will return three. Else, if the current character scanned is plus or minus, it will return one. Else, for the remaining, it will return zero. So all these values are written with respect to the table we have seen before. So this is for the input symbol. Similarly, we should write the priority for the symbol on the stack. So whatever is available on the stack, it is going to have different priority. So for that, we are writing the function PRS. It is nothing but priority of the symbol on the top of the stack. So for this, again, we are going to pass a symbol which is available on the top of the stack as an argument. And this function will return five if the symbol is equal to exponentiation. Else, if the symbol is multiply or divide, it will return four. Else, if the symbol is plus or minus, this will return two. Else, it will return zero. So in all these cases, we are returning integers. So the return type of this function is also integer. Now let us continue with our main function. So when the control comes to the else part in line number 84, it means that in our input, we have scanned an operator. So we have to compare the priority of the operator in the current input with the priority of the operator on the top of the stack. So if the priority of the current character scanned is greater than the operator on the top of the stack, you can push it. If not, you have to pop all the characters from the stack till you get the priority on the top of the stack less than the priority of the symbol in our input. So I'm writing, well, priority of current input character, that is PRA of CH, is less than or equal to priority of the stack character that is nothing but on the top of the stack, whatever character is available, that priority you have to check. So to the PRS function, I am passing stack of top. So this is the character on the top of the stack. If the input symbol priority is less than or equal to priority of the character on the top of the stack, we have to pop all the characters one by one. So I am popping it. The moment I pop the character, I have to write it to the output postfix expression. So I am writing it to the postfix expression at the index k. After that, I have to increment k by one, so it is k plus plus. And finally, when we come outside the while loop, it means that the current character in the input is having more priority than the priority of the character on the top of the stack. So we are going to push the current character onto the stack. And when we come to line number 89, it means that we have finished for a particular scan character. So we have to now go to the next character in the input. So I'm incrementing i by one. And finally, when the while loop is over, when we come outside the while loop in line number 92, it means that we have scanned all the characters in our input expression. And currently our input expression contains the null character, which is indicating that end of the input is reached. So now at this point of time, your input scanning is over but still you will have some characters which are available on the stack. Those are nothing but the operators. You have to pop all the operators one by one. And uh, to indicate the ending, we have already stored hash onto the stack. So we have to pop all the characters one by one from the stack till we encounter hash. So I'm checking whether the character on the top of the stack is not as equal to hash. If so, I have to pop it. So I'm popping the character. After I pop the character, I have to write it to the postfix expression. So I'm appending it at the index k. Then I'm incrementing the value of k by one. And finally, when we have a hash character on the top of the stack, it will come outside the while loop. The condition will become false. So it will come to line number 94. So it means that we have the stack as empty. So nothing to pop more. So our conversion process is over. So we have to append null character at the end of the postfix expression. 
because we are going to print it. All the strings must be terminated by the null character. So in postfix of k, I am adding null character. And finally, our entire conversion is over. Our output is available in the character array postfix of i. We are going to print it. Since it is stored in a character array, it is a string. So I am printing as postfix expression is equal to percentage x, s comma postfix. Now we are going to run the program. So when I run the program for this infix expression, I'm getting the postfix expression as shown in the output. Next, I'm running the program for an expression which contains uh, the exponentiation operator also. So this operator contains all the operators which are available in the arithmetic operator category. So here I am getting the postfix output as follows. So thank you.